Okay, we've got three exercises here that are sport specific to sprinting in the 100, and 100 meter and 200 meter. Don't think you want to uh, try these, exercise pro these exercises until you have mastered the STAR program, stabilization. Okay, the first of these exercises is the foot strike and the counterbalance of the foreleg as this occurs. And the second two exercises are the top of the arc in the flight. So let's look at the setup. Okay, our first exercise is the strike plant of the foot and the bringing forward of the hip. Now, if you want to do this where your center of gravity is over the foot and you want to make sure your foot's got an 80-20 load, ball to heel. Okay, the next thing you want to do is make sure that this pulley is going to be right, you know, just at your shoulder level. So that's, you know, shoulder level, that's where the pulley goes. And then we'll just hook this up and get ready to do the exercise. Okay, I want to show you how this strap goes on the foot. You see that the floppy part goes right on the bottom of your instep here. And that's really important for how this is going to work because it's got to pull in that direction. So that's, that's how the ankle strap goes on. With this exercise, press down with the ball of the planted foot, keeping the knee slightly bent. Try to keep the shin of the active leg parallel to the ground during the entire exercise. Okay, these next two exercises are for the impulse, the vertical impulse, at the middle of the stride, when you're in the middle of the airborne thing, and, uh, and it's about giving you that vertical impulse. So let's go to the exercise. Okay, now when you're doing the ex this exercise, I'll show you how the, the strap goes. It goes like this. It doesn't go on the forearm, it goes on the upper arm. And, and there's that. When you're doing it on the back pull, it's going to go like this, so you can see it. This is the peak forearm motion in the sprint. You'll want 45 degrees of flexion and extension of each leg, keeping the core vertical, head high, chest forward. As you exercise, press your weight on the leading leg so that the trailing leg's foot is light on the ground. The stance should be very narrow, if not directly in line. This is the peak rear arm motion, and the stance is the same as the forward arm motion. But, you'll face toward the upright and load the forward leg, making the trailing leg foot light on the floor. The stance should be very narrow in order to challenge the balance system. Expect translated inertia to lift the body vertically.